What we like to do, and I should say this, no other paint protection company out there is doing stuff like this, you know. We are out here in your face. There's no way I could fake this. There's nothing up my sleeves. This is enamel paint. I'm going to spray paint this car, you know. That's what's going to happen here. Paint. That's what you guys are here for. Get your cameras ready. Ready? <laughs> ready? You don't have a finger scan again? Do you do I'm not going to spray too much, but that's it. So we're going to let that dry. This is actually a cloth that's been dousted with the paint protection product. This is another cool little visual of what our paint protection does. You know, when I first joined the company, they showed me this packet, and I'm used to dealing with different types of coatings and bottles and things like that, so I was skeptical. I was skeptical. I was. I was like, what is this? This looks like something that you get at Kentucky Fried Chicken, you know? <laughs> However, you know, when someone of confidence looks at you and says, just try it and give me your opinion, you know, so that's exactly what I did, you know, and I was won over by the product. I've had the pleasure and the privilege of using you name the paint protection product out there, I've tried it. I probably have, and I probably have it, okay? So it's really cool that the product that I represent just happens to be head and shoulders above the rest when it comes to specifically these two tests. I've not seen a paint protection system out there that can resist spray paint. By the way, that's enamel spray paint. It's dry right now. It's dry. You can feel it. You want to go up and touch it, you can feel it. Go ahead, Mac. Run your hand over. Right. And that's basically a visual kind of what happens to the exterior of the paint. Kind of like some Terminator stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Can you put this stuff on furniture? <laughs> Say that again. Can you put yeah. this stuff on furniture? You know what you could put it on? On your shower glass door that you hate cleaning. Yeah. It's a good, good place to put it. You put it on the... Uh, <laughs> so it's pretty much dry. Matt, it's dry? Yeah. So we just like the. And I'm not pushing hard at all. There's no effort whatsoever. And there's no damage. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking damage to the clear. There is nothing going on. You're going to see when we wipe it off what's going on here. No, there's damage to my heart. No, <laughs> no you're good. You're good. In terms of detail of the rubber, what would that uh, enamel paint do to an unprotected surface? Feet right in. <laughs> so, that's the demo we love to show, and we're really proud of that. There's nothing on the market that you're able to do that with. I encourage you to try it. Just not on your own vehicle. And you saw me, your first name? Colleen. Colleen, you saw me in here yesterday. I could have come in 20 minutes before and done this, okay? And it would have worked as well. The demo would have went great. It works that much better 24 hours. And because I live so close, and even if I didn't, I would have arranged my schedule to come in the day before. I just love it. I love that it pushes off so easily, you know? So it's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. That's my idea, isn't it? Right, uh, I, again, it would have worked similarly sure. if it didn't. However, and most of my colleagues do it an hour before as well, especially because, you know, one of my colleagues, Jay, he's out in areas that are 14 hour drives, you know, he's up in the stick. So he's got to just do it on the spot and it works great for him. I just love the, the drama uh, that it shows.